Hello everyone. This is our first video about algebra. In this video we're going to talk about what is algebra, what does algebra mean, and what does algebra do, and in fact what does even algebra mean. The word algebra comes from the Arabic language. The Arabic language, it actually comes from the title of a book called Algebra that was written uh, long ago uh, in the year, about the year 820 of our era by a famous mathematician of the time called Al-Khwarizmi. Um, what does algebra mean? Uh, that's, as I said, is a word in the Arabic language that means to restore or to balance. And what are we uh, going to balance are equations. So uh, what algebra means is the art of uh, balancing equations. So what kind of equations are we going to balance? Uh, equations with numbers, equations in mathematics. So uh, for example, um, we are going to talk about equations that involve multiplication. And in this video, we're going to review some facts about multiplication just to talk about different kinds of equations and what the equations mean and what we can read out of equations. So, uh, for example, I can write an equation that says that 12 is 3 times 4. And uh, what that means to me is that um, 12 can be written as 3 times 4, meaning that it is 3 times groups of 4. So uh, I can write uh, 4 plus 4 plus 4. Uh, likewise, I can actually write 12 in other ways that make a balanced equation. 12 is also 2, two times 6. And what that means to me is that I can write 12 as two groups of 6. So it is 6 plus 6. I can write 12 in other ways, uh, even just uh, exchanging the rows of 3 and 4, I can write 12 as 4 times 3, and that is not exactly the same as before because now this I can interpret it as I can write 12 as 4 groups of 3, so uh, 4 times the number 3. Or I can uh, write instead of 2 times 6, I can write 6 times 2 and what that means is that I'm going to do six groups of two elements. So I can write two plus two plus two plus two plus two plus two, plus two and that equals 12. And all those, uh, if you follow the equal signs, those are balanced equations. And um, each one of those, as I said, is actually in my head, I'm thinking about elements and how I'm distributing elements into different groupings uh, to make these equations actually come to life in terms of elements and examples uh, that actually come from real life. So, for example, uh, all the equations that we've been talking about uh, have to do with how we group, uh, for example, 12 bananas. Uh, so, I can group 12 bananas in groups of um, uh, 4. So, when I write uh, 3 times 4, what I mean is that I can write the bananas in groups of four. So I can group them in three groups of four bananas. Okay. Um, also, uh, we talked about um, four times three. So when I said that I can write uh, four times three, I can do uh, groupings of three elements and there's going to be four such groups of three elements because I can write the bananas uh, I can group them in groups of three and what I'm going to get is four groups of three bananas 
Uh, likewise, I can talk about uh, what does it mean to have two groups of six bananas, uh, that is also 12, and what that means in a second group, the bananas in groups of six, and that gives me also 12. And also I could try to do the same thing with uh, six times two, which is going to make the picture a little messier, but that is six groups of two bananas. So let's try it. So here is one group, two groups, three groups, four groups, five groups, and six groups of bananas. And uh, likewise, if I have uh, uh, a number and I find different types of groupings, those give me equations that I can use to write my number in different ways. So here's, for example, uh, 20 cards. Okay, so there are 20 cards in this picture. And by finding different groups of these cards, I'm going to be able to find different uh, expressions, different equations that uh, involve the number 20. For example, I can group these in groups of five. Each row is um, formed by five cards. And these groups give me four groups of five. So that tells me that uh, 20 is four groups of five. I can also group them uh, by columns. You see that the columns have four cards each. And let's see how many uh, groups of four cards do I get? I get one, two, three, four, and five groups of four cards so that tells me that 20 is also five groups of four cards i can also group them in other ways for example i can group them uh, in two rows at a time and uh, in an even way i also get that um, 20 is two groups of 10. All these are different equations involving 20 that um, are balanced in that uh, they are true equations. Um, by the way, when I write 20 as a product of two numbers, we say that these are, uh, the, uh, these are factorizations. Of 20. Okay. The, fact, the possible factorizations of the number 20 um, when I write it as a product. I can write also, uh, I can use the picture to uh, draw and come up with other equations that are not necessarily just one product. For example, I could group my cards as a group uh, like this of these three columns and then two columns. And that is going to give me, I can interpret that as another equation uh, what that gives me is that, well, the first three columns are three columns of four elements. So I have three columns of four elements. And then also I have uh, another two columns of four elements. And uh, what that is just telling me is that, uh, well, 20 is 12 plus 8. Right? And that is also equals to 20. And it also corresponds to some different type of grouping of these number of cards. Okay, so um, why don't you try at home, you can try to do uh, the same thing and try different factorizations, try to find um, groupings and equations like the ones we found um, but about other numbers. We've just done about the number 12 and about the number 20. Uh, how about you try the number 16 and the number 18 and the number 24? There are a few interesting ways to group those together and find the factorizations of those numbers and then also uh, find other types of equations related to those numbers. Okay. So today I want to end uh, with one problem that I like and that um, 
I like because you can think of many ways of solving this problem and it gives you a way to come up with different um, equations about numbers and different ways to balance uh, equations. Okay, so here's the problem. The problem is that we have a broken calculator in that uh, there are only four keys that work. Uh, we can use the number three, the number five, the equal sign, the minus, and the plus. Uh, those keys work and the others do not work. So the question is, can you make every single number using just these keys? So for example, if I want to write a one, I can't use the key one. I have to use just these numbers so I can try to write a one. Uh, uh, and instead of a one, what I'm going to do is write uh, three, plus three is six, minus five is one. And that would give me the number one. If I try to write the number two, uh, how could I write the number two just using these uh, keys? I could type five and then subtract three, and that gives me two. And you see those are true equations just using, uh, on the right-hand side, I'm only using the threes, five, pluses, and minuses. Okay, so for example, uh, a number that is easy is six, six is three plus three. Okay, so uh, your, the question for you is, can you, uh, can you write, can you make the numbers up to 20? One, two, three, up to 20 using only uh, the keys three, five plus and minus um, and uh, try that out it's fun and you can uh, find that there are several ways of uh, writing each number so uh, try it out and try to find one way try to find two ways and see what you can do uh, with all those okay next time we'll start talking about equations till next time